So the project has been focused on increasing writing achievement with students in East Lubbock, you know, East Lubbock schools. And with respect to how this addresses national needs, it's, an, it's a need across the nation. So in effect, East Lubbock is a microcosm of what's happening across the United States with respect to urban, underperforming schools. So that's a, an interesting story because this all came about as part of the ELPN grant and through that work the College of Ed had partnered with Lubbock Independent School District and initially the, their work was around project-based instruction and as they got into that they realized that it really wasn't what the school district wanted. There was some change in leadership and they said, we want literacy. We have, we have some major issues with literacy. So the dean of the College of Ed, Scott Ridley, who was leading the grant, pulled together faculty from the Language and Literacy Program, and we, we literally met with leaders from the school district and talked about what their needs were with literacy. So we came in with little sheets about what our backgrounds were and our experiences and they looked at that, all of that information and said we need help with writing and so our focus became writing as part of a literacy initiative that was also uh, presented as balanced literacy in the elementary grades. So with us specifically, it was Lubbock Independent School District. We worked with central administration and then campus leaders and teachers from there. So we had multiple stakeholders, and I think that that's very common with engaged scholarship and work like this. We had the district level leaders, and we also then had campus leaders, so we had principals, assistant principals, and instructional coaches, and then we had teachers, and then of course students. So everybody had sort of a different role to play in this project. There was a lot of communication that was required across these different levels, and, um, but primarily we worked, we, we got sort of the the goal from central administration, but we worked it out with the campus leadership teams of how it would be implemented. So on the Texas Tech side, it was primarily faculty from the College of Education in the Language and Literacy program area. And um, we also had graduate students working with us, and they came from different areas, but all within the College of Education. So some were within the field of literacy, but some were in educational psychology, curriculum and instruction, like that. So they are research assistants, and as research assistants, they go into classrooms and they take observation field notes, they administer surveys, they conduct informal, informal interviews with students and teachers, and even some of the campus leadership. Uh, they, they gather all of that data, they analyze the data, and then help report it back to our partners. We meet regularly, so we have an established meeting schedule. Uh, usually it's around, it has been in the past, once a month, and, um, and then informally in between. We would see each other on campus and talk in the hallway kind of thing a lot. It's still ongoing. It's, it's been going on for three years. We're now starting our fourth year of implementation. Through the ELPN grant primarily. So the grant funding is ending in June and we are working to sustain 
this work right now. We're, we are trying to put those pieces in place so that it will continue beyond that funding. Well, the primary benefit is to increase students' academic achievement. We know that literacy is the foundation for their achievement in all content areas. And we also want students to be specifically successful with respect to early college high school preparation. And writing is key to that. Mm -hmm. So we have presented some preliminary research from this work because it's been going on, you know, as I said, this is, we're starting our fourth year. And the reaction to this study uh, is just phenomenal because there are so many schools across the nation who are struggling with this exact issue of how do we engage students in underperforming schools, uh, in urban settings, um, how do we raise our literacy test scores? And in this case, we're very focused on writing, of course, but just across the board. So there's a lot of interest in this study. And then the design of it is also compelling because of the partnership aspect and how it's been truly co-constructed and has evolved over time.